The Red Sox and Phillies combined to take five of six from the two New York teams earlier this week. Now the Gotham rivals get a chance at each other in the city of brotherly love. Friday night, it's Joe Blanton's turn for the Phillies. He's not lost since May 9th. He's 4-3 and three overall. With the Phillies up 1-0, his defense, wow, wonderful behind him. Shane Victorino robs J.D. Drew of an extra base hit in the third. Still 1-0 in the fourth. Kevin Euclid, well, he hits it where they ain't. His 11th of the year, a solo shot. We are tied at 1. John Lester dominant in his last start versus Texas. Bottom four, more of the same. Ryan Howard swinging. Same for Ra- Raul Abanez and then Victorino doing the same as well. 11 Ks on the day for Lester. In the fifth, we are not tied anymore. J.D. Drew the other way. A solo blast his ninth of the year. It's 2-1 Boston. No Papelbon after a long series with the Yankees and no save for Ramon Ramirez. That's because Ryan Howard... His 19th of the year ties the game at two. In the 11th, Greg Dobbs, a great pinch hitter, almost does it again. They call it foul. Charlie Manuel wanted a replay review, didn't get it. Then, of course, what does Dobbs do? Strikes out. Justin Masterson gets the job done. Top 13 still tied at two. Jacoby Ellsbury finally unties it. The single scores Jason Bay makes it 3-2. to two. The Red Sox would add two more. Then Daniel Bard gets Jason Wirth, Ryan Howard, and Shane Victorino in the bottom of the 13th, all swinging to end it. 5-2 is the final. Takashi Saito gets the win. The save goes to Bard.